Wild animals, gentlemen, in their native haunts, are seldom as savage as some hunters would have you believe. I've discovered that if one comes across them unexpectedly in the jungle, they're just as afraid of you as you may be of them. They seldom start a row unless they're famished or attacked. And if one is fortunate enough to make friends with them, they're good friends, loyal and faithful. As you know, my profession is that of trapping these wild animals alive. It's my proud boast that I've never yet killed one except in self-defense. I feel more at home in the jungle than I do in the crowded streets of your great city. I'm more afraid of your taxi cabs, congested traffic, and subway rushes than I am of lions, crocodiles, and elephants. <laughs> One is safer in darkest Africa than in many a speakeasy or nightclub in this city. As a matter of fact, gentlemen, the baby blue eyes of some of your glorified Polly's beauties conceal more hidden dangers than many a savage beast I've met in the bush. <laughs> <laughs> The most interesting lecture I've heard in years. Amazing, amazing experiences. Amazing. <laughs> most kind of you to have come and told us about your adventure. Not at all. I'm glad you weren't bored. <laughs> there, you didn't mention tigers during our talk, Mr. Franklin. Well, you see, sir, this evening I confined myself to my African expedition. There are no tigers in Africa. No tigers in Africa? No, sir, no tigers in Africa. Well, well. I don't think I care so much about tigers anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we can do without them if we have to. <laughs> Amos P. Stitch is my name. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Stitch. And I'm glad to know you, Jim Franklin. I've read your books, and I like your type of man. Thank you. I do a little fishing occasionally myself. Fishing? Fishing, and polo, and golf, and tennis, and of course, uh, occasionally, a little drink. Oh, of course, yes. Uh, nothing like a pick-me-up. Not a bad idea. Let you and I go have one. Uh, not now. Later, perhaps. Whenever you say. Now, as I was telling you, I have a nice little house in Westchester. Westchester. I always have trouble with that word. Westchester County. You know where I mean. Oh, of course, yes. Sure. As I was saying, a nice little house. I have a swimming pool, a golf course, a polo field, and a trout stream. Really? But no zoo. No zoo? No. Hmm. And I never realized until I heard your lecture this afternoon... What my place needs now is a zoo. Well, because very few houses in Westchester have zoos. That's just the point. That's why I should have one. I want to be different. Would you consider getting one together for me? Well, of course. Um, we'll talk it over later, old boy. You'll excuse me. Oh, Robertson, I wanted to tell you about that... Uh, uh, right. Curious chap, that fellow Stitch. Yes, he is. He's been politely plastered for the last 30 years. But everybody likes him. <laughs> I can understand that. He's not to be trifled with or taken lightly in spite of his usual condition. He's one of the wealthiest men in America and always carries out his whims no matter how fantastic or costly they may be. Hmm. You don't say. Why don't you take him up on that zoo proposition? He'd pay you well. Don't say. No, they don't. Shh. But keep it a secret. I will, sir. I may at that. If you think he was serious. I'm sure he was. He's always eccentric, but very reliable. He usually means what he says. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Stitch, 
I've been thinking over that zoo proposition. I'd like to talk to you about it, if I may. Glad to do it. Sit down. Thank you. Have a drink? Uh, later. Later? Oh, yes, of course. Later. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was thinking that if you were on the level about wanting some animals for your zoo, I'd like to go on an expedition and get them for you. I'll go with you, and I'll pay all the expenses. I've always wanted to see Africa anyway. Fine. When can we start now? Just a minute. Just a minute. Waiter. Waiter. Bring me a telephone. Come in there. Come in. This is Amos P. Stitch speaking. Find out when the next boat leaves for Africa. And let me know right away. For Africa. For Africa. Yes, I'm in a hurry. The next boat leaves at 10 o'clock in the morning, Mr. Stitch. The boat leaves 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? All right, I'll take it. <clears throat> What's this? That's an automatic rifle, sir. The latest model. Good. Wrap it up. I'll take it. Hey, just a minute. What do you want with that? We're going to capture the animals, not kill them. We might bump into some African gangsters, a revolution or something. And it's best to be on the safe side. <laughs> Wrap it up. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to ask you something. Is it true that elephants is afraid of mice? Well, I couldn't say for certain. See, I've never seen an elephant confronted with a mouse. Oh, haven't you? Never have. How's that? Well, my experiences with elephants have been confined to the jungle. And there are no mice in the jungle as we know them. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, boys, will you get this stuff out of the tank yes. as quick as possible? Yes, no worries. Come on, Sitch, old man. Oh. There's no mice in the jungle? No mice in the jungle. Pardon me. Just a minute. You might need some help. Huh. George, Heard. what's the meter say? 9.40. Say, are you guys really going to Africa? Of course. Well, we certainly are. Gee, can you imagine that? All my life I wanted to go to Africa. Oh. 
this is Africa, huh? You guess it. to the end of the pier, and I'll tell you where to go from there to the best hotel. Is Asky your name? Yes, boss. That's my name. Curious? Most curious. Says which? I merely remarked that in these parts, it's curious that Oscar should be your name. Oh, I am from these your parts, boss. You're not? No, sir. I was just stranded here. I come from Harlem, New York City, and I sure does itch to get back. That's odd. I'm a New Yorker myself. That's what I heard, and that's why I done took this job. I kind of hope you all might take me back there with you when you go. Hello there, Sid. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, Eric Vermouth, Mr. Sid. Did you say Vermouth? Vermouth. Oh, Vermouth. I've engaged Eric as my assistant. He knows just about as much of the jungle as I do. Good. Sit down, gentlemen. Thanks. Will you join me? Or later, perhaps. <laughs> later, yes. And you, Mr. Uh, Bernouth. Oh, Bernouth, yeah. I always say that a drink between men is a good way to become friends. I agree with you. And here's mud in your eye. Mmm. Here goes. Uh, now let's look at the map, huh? Mm hmm. There's our destination. See it? Right there. That country no good for white men. Mm-hmm. That's where we're going, just the same. No good. Bad natives. Well, you don't think I'm going to let a few natives scare me, do you? All right. You take the chance. What chance? I told you, bad natives. You worship a chungu goddess, a white woman. Who really is loose in the jungle, and the animals are half friends. Yes. I've heard all that before. <laughs> it's nonsense. Uh, uh, people believe it. Well, have you ever seen her? No white man has ever seen her. They say she was a white baby that got lost and grew up in the jungle. Yeah, uh, fiddlesticks. Now, here's our starting point. Mm -hmm. It won't be very easy going, but in about three or four days, our safari should be well into the interior. Mm. From that point on, it's going to be pretty tough sledding. Mm -hmm. Anger! Yes, we have to go that way. I don't know. I'll check. Just a minute. No, that's southwest. We'd oh, better really? keep heading that way, yes. That way. This way, you mean? Yeah. Bunga!
that. Very bad meat. Yes, they do sound ominous, don't they? They make voodoo. A religious wild dance. They sacrifice humans in honor of their jungle gods. Oh, Eric, you've been reading cheap magazines. <laughs> you wouldn't laugh if it was you the one to sacrifice. You, you, you hear that? I'll say I do. Because in their blood, like whiskey, it gets wilder and wilder. They torture you and kill you. Oh, come now, that's only hearsay. You've never seen it. Nobody has ever seen it. Well, forget all about it. Anyway, we don't want to make the boys nervous. Barunga! Come on. Let's get going. Gosh, that won't do. I get a healthy beast in there, he'll smash it right away. Adeo, Bungaleo. I'm the wolf. Nice bossy. Nice bossy. Come on out. Don't be afraid. Come on. Sweet little fella. Sweet little fella. Isn't he, Oscar? Yes, of course. He sure is. Do you realize, Oscar, that this is the only mouse as we know them in the African jungle? The only one, boss? The only one. Extraordinary, isn't it? Yes, of course. Do you know why I brought him with us? No, sir, boss, I don't. He doesn't know it either. But he's to participate in the great scientific experiment. You say he is, Bob? Yes, Oscar. The elephant mouse experiment. Never before attempted in the heart of the jungle under scientific conditions. Here, Mousy. Oh, come on. Come on, Mousy. Come on over here and eat this telemook. Join me? I can't refuse the donkey train. Well, maybe it gives you some courage for the hunt. There's mud in both your eyes. Mm. Well, 
You like the jungle? Very much indeed. Delightful place. Sorry I wasn't invited to the party yesterday, though. Party? What party? Someone was giving a dance. Didn't you hear the drums? Oh, you wanted to be invited for the dance? Yes, of course. I'm very fond of jazz. <laughs> <laughs> well, my dear friend, you were very fortunate you were not invited. Well, I guess I go and help with the cake. Peculiar fellow, that German Oscar. He's positively anti-social. Everything ready? Yes, everything's set. Well, let's be on the way, huh? Hiya! Oh, 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 well, wish us luck. Tons of it. Tons of it. May the best man win. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Well, there we are. She looks okay to me now. <laughs> Mr. Lyon walks in, takes the bait, and down comes the trap. We've yeah. got him. Yeah, just keep it time. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> well, I suppose we better cover it up with some brush, huh? Yeah, well, I'm out of mouth. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, let's get going. All right. Who's that? Who's it? Who's Funny a face than that? Oh, wouldn't even be proud of it. Hmm. Oh, We got him! We got him!
Fitz will be tickled to death with him. Wouldn't he, huh? God, aren't you a beauty? <laughs> Snarl all you like, old boy, but you're not going to get your claws on me. <laughs> what was that scream? Sounded like a... Sounded like a woman's voice. Maybe a... Oh, nonsense. You got that jungle goddess on the brain. Well, let's put the poles under this and get back to camp. What? 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 Huh. Good day's work. Uh, I guess I go to bed now, huh? That's an idea. Let's all turn in, huh? Oh, good night, Eric. Good night. You go. Pleasant dreams. Sleep tight. Did you hear a noise? Yes. Didn't you? Oh, I thought I did. So did I. Must have been a mistake. I guess. What is Lord? Stitch! Stitch! Something the matter? I'll say there is. The animals are gone. Oh, why, so they are. I told you this country is no good for hunting. Jungle gods. The animals are all her friends. Oh, nonsense. The animals are gone, aren't they? Jungle goddess. As if there could be such a woman. If I thought...
jungle goddess. Yes, you were right after all, Eric. White girl, too. Hmm. She's beautiful enough to be a goddess. She's pretty. There she is. Hold on. seem the right way to treat a lady. A lady? <laughs> She's just as wild and ferocious as many an animal I've tried to capture. You should have seen her try to bite me. Hmm. Just a wildcat, huh? But it hardly seems right to keep her here against her wishes. Oh, don't worry. I just want to make friends with her. We'll let her go as soon as we can. Yeah. Just like a Tigers, hmm? Okay, fellas, let's leave her alone, shall we? She's strange around here. Come on. Oh, just as I thought, you filthy drunk. No. No, no. Not too drunk to understand why you get mad. Huh? Oh, and what's that? She 
is a woman. She's white. She's beautiful. She's warm. She's smooth. You want it all for yourself. Shut up and get back to your hut. I won't shut up and I won't go back. <laughs> all right. I may surprise you yet. Maybe I make you share her with me yet, huh? Get up. Get up. Enough. And now go back to your hut and pack your things. You can take two of the black boys to show you the way back to the village. And if you're not out of camp in half an hour, it's just going to be too bad. All right. I go. But I come back. And when I do, I have a nice surprise for you, huh? Just wait. Just wait. Come on, you, you. What did he mean? I don't know, but he's a bad one. He may be bluffing. I don't think so. True, Oscar. Quite true. Yes, boss. Sorry. I promise you, that tramp won't bother you again. Promise? No. He won't bother you again. Again? Again? Sure. That crack goes for me, too. Keep away from men. We've all got a little of the tramp in us. 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 And listen, don't do that. Uh, not that I don't like it, you understand. But, well, I'm going to set you free. Going to send you back to the jungle. With the animal where you belong. No. No? Yeah. And if you like, I'll go hunt somewhere, somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I've got to get you out of this camp. If I don't, in a few days you'll have me eating out of your hands. Goodbye, little goddess. So, you let her go. Yes. As you said, we couldn't keep her here forever. Did she bite you before you let her go? <laughs> no. She seemed to understand and just walked off into the jungle. That's where she belongs, anyway. Of course. Of course. She was a beauty, though. <laughs> Most beautiful girl I've ever seen. Oh, boss! Oh, boss! Boss! The taxi, I'm ready. All right, Oscar. We're just going off on a little hunting expedition of our own. Okay, I'll see you later. 
later. Come on, Oz. Where to, Governor? Oh, uh, just through the jungle. We're looking for a elephant. Governor, a elephant. Quite so. The moment for our scientific experiment has arrived. Go get him. Come on, Marcy. Come on. Come to Papa. Come on, Marcy. Come on, Marcy. Come on. Oh, nice little Marcy. You played your part very well. And the National Geographic Society will hear you. Yeah, all right. Oscar, get the Marcy a steak when we get to the hotel. Yes, Paul. Yes, you, you tell the chief that some white man had stolen the Chung gods. Tell him keep her locked up, eh? No more provision of that is very similar. I'm a chicken, but it is a bit too hard, my chief. Look at that. Look at that. So you came back. You know, there are lots of things I'd like to know about you, if you only un understood my talk. Talk? Talk? That's it, yes. T-A-L-K. <laughs> it's a thing most of us do far too much of. Talk. There are lots of things I'd like to tell you. 
you don't understand. Tonight... But one day you will. Come. Go in there. And may you sleep like a top. Sleep? Sleep. That's what I said. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, now, listen, you're, you're nice to look at, but, but you can't do this, you know. <laughs> Think of old Stitch. He, he wouldn't like it, and... and would, uh, well, what did Walter Winchell say if he heard about it? Oh, now, now uh, listen, you've got to go home. Come on, right away. Come on. Now, young lady, this is your place, and here you stay. Stay? Yes, you heard me. Stay all night. Good night. Wake up. What's the matter? What's the matter? Shh. I'm going off on a little hunting expedition into the jungle all by myself. Okay, Governor. Hey, Sin! Sin! Oh, no, no. 
Hunting all morning, and not an animal in sight. It's awful quiet around here. I can fix that, Governor. The mate done got Mr. Jim, and they're taking him to the village. Get in. Franklin is dead. Me bought. Me bought. Well, uh, where's the girl? Oh, uh, Manabalaba. You stay here. Mind your own business. Untie me quickly. <coughs> oh. Now what's the matter? We're out of gas. What? Out of gas? No gas. We gotta get back to camp. Come on.
Join me in a little drink. Um, later. Yes, of course. Later. <laughs> 